Oh, I'm filming you because I didn't even notice this in the pan. I just did the, I, I thought that was the biggest bit and I was like, you know, you've got to check for specimens. I was like, oh, I couldn't see any in my hand. Well, I didn't scoop all the big rocks out. You're not going to freaking believe what I've got in my pan right now. Fern, Zoe. <laughs> oh my God, Fern, you were there when we found this. What's up guys, my name is Chris from Focus Prospecting and this is a Fast Friday. I've got a very simple one for you and it's gonna help you guys narrow down potential shedding gold reefs. This is a bucket of ore that I just collected from a potentially shedding reef. We narrowed this down through the history books and we've always wanted to sample it. Not only did I take the ore though, I took the dirt from all around the base of it. And I've then just classified it down into the free dirt that was just hanging around before I start crushing. And what I want to see is, is there any gold in the dirt that was hanging around next to the reef? Because if there is gold in that dirt, there is no other way it could have got there up on the hill other than coming from that quartz vein. So if there's gold there, we know we've got gold in the ore. Let's wash that dish. Dirt is dry. There's a few large rocks in here because my classification system didn't quite work how I wanted it to. <laughs> but that's okay. You gotta check for specimens if you're doing this. Can't see any. All right, moment of truth. Is there any gold? So I'm doing this one-handed with my left hand. Please be patient with me. Any gold in here indicates that that vein is shedding and then that ore that we collected today would 100% be worth crushing up. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is almost a picker. And we got some finds. Have a look at that. That is a solid little piece of gold. And it's got a heap of micro friends in it. That is an awesome result. So I know that's not a heap of gold, but what that tells us is that the vein that we took that sample from is shedding. So not only would the vein be worth checking, but probably the soil around it for larger pieces. Yeah, I'm filming you because I didn't even notice this in the pan. Mm -hmm. I just did the, I, I thought that was the biggest bit and I was like, you know, you've got to check for specimens. I was like, oh, I couldn't see any in my hand. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't scoop all the big rocks out. You're not going to freaking believe what I've got in my pan right now. Fern, Zoe, look, look at this one. Ooh. Eat it, Fern. That is a, <laughs> don't you dare eat. This nugget was hard to find and get. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God, Fern, you were there when we found this. We're going to, that's it. This is Fern's reef. First day I went out with Fern, we found this. Yes, you. No way. We found a reef with Fern. <laughs> what are you? My lucky little papa. I hope this little trick does help you on your search for that mother load. It's a lot simpler than crushing the ore. All you have to do is take the soil from around it. All right, until next time, peace, and I'm out. <laughs>